Worship the Lord, let's exalt his name, let's magnify him, let's exalt his majesty. He is seated mighty on his throne. There is none like you, there is none like you. Give the Lord a praise, give him honor, give him worship, give him adoration. Appreciate him, appreciate the Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days. The I am hey, the I am man. the everlasting you Father, the you Lord of all that is, that is going to come, the Lord of all possibility, the Lord of all things, 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 the Lord of all I appreciate the King of Kings. I appreciate the Creator of heaven and earth. I appreciate the Immortal, the Invisible, the Only Wise God, the Incomparable God, the Immortal God, the Immaculate God, the Unexplainable God, the Unimaginable God. Exalt His name. You cannot quantify His greatness. You cannot estimate His depth. The Lord is so deep. He's so deep that you can't understand him it's dynamic in his ways his ways are not the ways of man his thoughts are not the thoughts of man i appreciate the lord that seated in heaven that consult no man to do what he wants to do exalt him magnify him lord will bless your name the almighty god the almighty god the almighty god father we bow before your throne we bow before your throne. You are the Adonai. You are the Adonai. Masaka ni broka zendaya. Masite broka shindaya. Masika litahima. Welcome the Spirit of God. Welcome the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding. The Spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Welcome him to our presence this evening. Welcome him to our presence. The living waters. Lord, we bless your name. We worship you. We welcome the spirit of God. Salibra kasontayama. Zeteke shita imaka satahiba. Rapos kapra kashinda. Zataba kashiteye. Rapro kasinda. Masita imaka sotaya. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Praise the Lord. Shout a living hallelujah. Can I have your seat? God bless you. Can we clap our hands for uh, what God is doing already? Let's appreciate the choir. Let's celebrate. The grace of God in their lives, Lord, we bless your name. Be magnified forever in Jesus' name. I'm excited to be here because of what God will do. I don't know about you, but I am excited to be here. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Um, the theme for this divine encounter is the living water. And I'm reading from the book of John chapter 4. Verses 7 to 13. John chapter 4. It will be good to have it on the screen. John chapter 4. Verses, te- verses 7 to 13. The Lord bless you as you read with us in Jesus name. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. 
Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Verse 10, Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who is it who says to you, Give me a drink? You would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Say to your neighbor, the well is deep. The well is deep. Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get the living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. May God bless the reading of his word. In Jesus' name. This Samaritan woman was meeting Jesus for the first time. It was the first time that she was having an encounter with Messiah. And Jesus told her, if you knew the gift of God. So what I want to tell you today is every opportunity that we have to encounter Jesus, like in a meeting like this, is a gift of God that we cannot undermine, that we cannot relegate, that we cannot ignore and pretend as if though it's normal, it's usual. Jesus told her, if you knew the gift of God, if you knew the gift of God, every encounter with Jesus is a gift that cannot be ignored. The Lord will open your understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. And Jesus said to her, that if you knew the gift of God, you would have said to you, I mean, and you said, give me, if you know the gift of God, sorry about that. And who said to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you the living water. John chapter 7 verses 37 to 39 explains to us what Jesus figuratively called the living water. And Jesus in that John 7 explained to us that he's talking about the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. I pray tonight we have a measure of the spirit of God, but the Lord will fill us up. The Lord will fill us up in the mighty name of Jesus. The woman's question in verse 11 is very instructive for us, very important to us. Verse 11, the woman asks Jesus, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. You have nothing to, to draw with. The same way many people appear for crusade, for revival, for a church meeting and they have nothing to draw with they just came because they just have to come even though Jesus was discussing spiritual things with the woman living water and the woman was understanding it and interpreting it in the physical but there is nothing in your hand to draw with but his physical, uh, physical response still made sense in the spiritual context Here's what I mean. You appear before God. You appear in a crusade. And there's no expectation. It's an indication of having nothing to draw with. And the woman said, but the well is deep. The same way we cannot access the living water, the Holy Spirit of God, except we come with something to draw with. Because the well is truly deep. Holy Spirit is deep. It's the fountain that cannot run dry. If you believe with me, shout hallelujah. 
Holy Spirit is deep because he is the fountain that springs into everlasting life. So he is truly deep. And until you have something to draw, access becomes impossible. Psalm 42 verse 7 tells us, Psalm 42 verse 7, he said the deep calls unto the deep at the noise of your waterfall. Do you understand that scripture? The deep calleth unto the deep. The Holy Spirit is deep. You also must be able to meet him at the depth of where he operates for you to come up with something beneficial. You cannot stay in the flesh. You cannot remain on the surface and have access to the depth of the Spirit of God. That is what Psalm 42 Verse 7 is telling us, the deep calls unto the deep at the noise of your waterfall. Now, when the scripture said the deep calls unto the deep, it is expressing the desperate cry of the people of God from the depth of their hearts for help from the Holy Spirit. If you look at verse 1 and 2, the same Psalm 42, Verses 1 and 2. He said, as the dead pants for the water books, so pant my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. And Jesus said to us in that, verse, in, in, in that John 7, 37 to 38, if anyone thirsts, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. And he who believes me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. So two things you and I need to effectively plug into the divine encounter for this weekend. Two things we need to draw from the well of the Holy Spirit. Number one is that we are thirsty. Our thirst the deep calls unto the deep. The Holy Spirit is deep. You have to operate at the depth of his existence to assess his provision. And your level of thirst describes your level of depth. Number two things you need is your faith. It's your faith. He who believes in me as the scripture said, out of his heart, we flow rivers of living water. Your depth determines how much you can draw from the well. How much you can receive from the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, I have come with something to draw today. I have come with something to draw. That means you have come thirsty. You are not full. And you expect God, the Spirit of God, to fill you. And the Spirit of God will fill you. In the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I've come with faith today. That the Spirit of God can fill me. To the overflow. Let's rise to our feet. And that's our first prayer. That the Spirit of God will fill you to the overflow. Cry that, Holy Spirit, I am thirsty for you. I am thirsty for you. Fill me to the overflow. Brethren, the year is still young. It's just second month. Ten months, ten more months to go. How you take advantage of the first quarter determines how the rest of the year unfold. Soak yourself in the things of God, in the spirit of God for direction, for instruction, for revelation, for counsel. Cry, Holy Spirit, I am thirsty for you. I am thirsty for you. Fill me to the overflow. 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 I am thirsty for you. Fill me, Lord, to the overflow. Fill me to the overflow. Remember, the well is deep. Only the deep can call unto the deep. 
Holy Spirit, fill me to the overflow. Fill me to the overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. I am thirsty and hungry. I am thirsty and hungry. Fill me to the overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the biggest blessing that you can get this year. That the Spirit of God can fill you to the overflow. I know we love to pray for breakthrough and for miracle, but this is the foundation that every blessings of God can stand and sustain. This is the foundation that every blessing of God can stand sustainably. Holy Spirit, fill me to the overflow. I am thirsty. I am hungry. Fill me to the overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have come empty. Fill me to the overflow. Fill me up. Fill me up. In the name of Jesus, I am hungry. I am thirsty. Fill me up. Shaliba kasontaya. Rapo sata hikaba sataya. Fill me up. Tonight, fill me up. In the name of Jesus, you have to show that you are desperate. The woman said, you have come with nothing to draw with. Show God that you have come with something to draw with. That is your task. That is your hunger. Jesus, I, am call, I have come hungry. Holy Spirit, I have come thirsty. Fill me to the overflow. Fill me to the overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus, fill me to the overflow. Shalika Basandaya, give me a drink, Lord. Holy Spirit, give me a drink. Make my heart a fountain that spring up living waters. That spring up the living water. Make my heart, make my mind the fountain that spring up living water unto everlasting life. In the mighty name of Jesus, fill me to the overflow, Lord. Fill me to the overflow. Create a fountain of water in my mind, in my heart. Create a fountain of the living water in me, springing up unto eternal life. Create a fountain of the living water in me, Lord, springing up unto eternal life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Fill me to the overflow, Lord. I am hungry. I am thirsty. I need you, Lord. I need you, the Spirit of God. I need you more than ever before. More than ever before, I need you. Shall Fill me. The Bible says, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Lord, I have come thirsty. Give me to drink. I have come thirsty. Open the fountain to me. Shaliba kasotaya. Open the fountain to me. I have come thirsty. I have come hungry. Open the fountain to me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, open the fountain of the Holy Spirit. Shaliba kasota hipra kasandaya. Mazete imo kasantaya. The Bible says, whoever believes, as the scripture says, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Lord, I believe tonight, let the rivers of living water flow from my heart. Let the rivers of living water flow from me. Let the rivers of living water flow through me. Let it flow into me. Let it flow into me. Let it flow into me. Let it flow through me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Shaliba Kasonta, yeah. You are not praying like you need this. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help me. I know if it's prayer for breakthrough, we will we may not this. The Lord will help us. This is the foundation. It's the best way to take advantage of the year. The difference between two Christians who got born again the same day. Is how effective Holy Spirit is in their lives. Because without Holy Spirit, nobody will make heaven. You know why? You cannot live to please God if the Spirit of God does not dwell in you. 
So the measure of the Holy Spirit of God you have in you determines your ability to relate with God. Because the scripture tells us that it is the Spirit of God that searches all things, the deep things of God. Let us have 1 Corinthians on the screen. Chapter 2. The living water with the Holy Spirit is also the spirit of revelation. And listen to this clearly. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 12. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Let me make this scripture clear to you. You you have heard it before, I know. But this scripture, in my imagination, you can give an illustration like a child, a boy, whose father has bequeathed mansions, estates for him. To bequeath is to will. And this boy does not know how to access the riches. Are you with me? The only way that he has to access the riches is to get the help of someone who knows where the riches are stored up. And in this case, the Holy Spirit. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, nor has he entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter, chapter 2, 1 Peter chapter 2, sorry, chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says that his divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. Okay, through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. So you need success. His divine power has given us everything we need. You need good grade in school. As you read, divine power of God has given you everything you need. You need healing. His divine power has given you everything you need. You need joy. You need anything that you can imagine. His divine power has given you everything. But how do you access them? That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Let me take you further in that first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has he entered the heart of man, what? God has prepared for them that love him. Verse 10. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. Is it making sense? Everything you need for life and godliness, God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Say, for what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Verse 12 is powerful. He said, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know, that we might do what? Know the things that have been freely given to us by God. So, many believers, children of God, we have plenty. They have plenty, but yet they live in penury. They are created into luxury, but they are living in lack because they lack the spirit of revelation. Is it coming together? Your prayer to God this morning, I mean this evening, you need to operate at the depth of the spirit of God for you to be able to access what has been freely given to you. Cry and say, Father, Father 
launched me into the deep through the power of the Holy Spirit. Launch me into the deep through the power of the Holy Spirit. The deep collect unto the deep. You have to operate at the dimension of the revelation that the Holy Spirit wants to show you. Your capacity must match the size of the revelation. That is what we are saying. Launch me, O oh Lord, into the depths of your provision for my destiny through the power of the Holy Spirit. When you know what God has stored up for you and has understanding of how to access them, your struggles will be over. Your delays will no longer be a concern to you. Lord, launch me into the deep through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, launch me into the deep. Into the deep, launch me, Lord. For the deep, collect under the deep. Launch me into the deep. Into the deep through the power of the Holy Spirit. Launch me, O oh Lord. Launch me, O oh Lord. Into the deep through the power of the Holy Spirit. Launch me into the depth of your spirit. Launch me into the depth of the workings of the spirit. Launch me into the depth of the provision that you have reserved for me through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask the Lord, ask the Lord to launch you. He can take you on a journey onto the deep, onto a flight to the deep, so that you can discover the things that have been freely given to you. The things that have been freely given to you. He said, we have received the spirit which is from God that we might know the things that have been freely given unto us by God. The reason why people are just roaming about the same spot is because they lack direction from the Spirit of God. Lord, launch me tonight. Launch me tonight. Launch me tonight to the depth of your Spirit. Launch me to the depth of your spirit. Launch me to the depth of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said the labor of the fool wearies them. Because they don't know how to get to the city. Those who are operating at the depth of the spirit of God. We know how to get to the city. Lord launch me into the deep. I don't want to operate at the surface again. You have dwelt too long at the surface of the water. You have dwelt too long at the harbor, at the harbor of the sea. Holy Spirit is calling you to the deep. He's calling you to the deep. Lord, immerse me tonight. Immerse me in the deep of your spirit. Immerse me into the depth of the living water. Immerse me completely into the depth of the living water in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus mighty name we pray there is more to the Holy Spirit than speaking in tongues there is more a child of God who operates at the depth of the spirit of God will live more productive life will live more result producing life than those who operate at the shallow the scripture says in the book of Job there's a spirit in man but the inspiration of the almighty gives him understanding there's an understanding you need for success there's an understanding you need for excellence in your career, in your business. There's an understanding you need in every area of your life that would make you to stand above your equal. Only the Spirit of God can produce that, can give it. And until you come to the depth of the Spirit, you can't access it. You can't be scratching it on the surface 
and expect to walk into it with this understanding. Remember the boy, the illustration of the boy, the analogy of the boy. He has so much reserved in the estate for him by his father, but he does not know how to access. He needs help. Everything that we need for life and godliness has been given to us, but we can only access this through the Spirit of God that we have. God, launch me into the deep. Cry to God, launch me into the deep of the Spirit. I am not satisfied operating at the surface, at the seashore. Many Christians are operating at the seashore. They are operating at the shore of the sea. And Jesus is calling you tonight, come to the deep, come for the living water. When the Holy Spirit becomes as real to you as your spouse, that you can commune with him, you can communicate with him as you speak to your spouse, as you speak to your friend. That is the level that God wants you to operate. That nothing catches you unaware, unprepared. Lord, launch me to the deep. I want to have an encounter tonight that will bring me out of the seashore and position me into the depth of the spirit. Cry to God if that is your prayer. You remember you must be thirsty. You must be hungry. That is what you need to draw from the well. Shaliba kasondaya brakasata makasotei makasataya rapo kasata mashantaya Lord rapo kasataya take me out of the seashore to the depth of the spirit to the realm of the spirit take me on a journey of the deep Lord take me on a flight on the deep of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus shaleba kasataya repos kaprasataya Sheke lete yebo ripa kasita yama reke bos kabra kasinda Lord launch me into the deep I am ready to go with you on this journey I am ready to experience you at the depth of the operations of the Holy Spirit I am thirsty I am hungry I am thirsty I am hungry Oh Lord immerse me in the depth of the living water Immerse me in the depth of the living water. Immerse me, O oh Lord. Shalibaka Satayaba Rekebos Kabra Sataya Rapose Teima Malika Sataya. This Christian race becomes difficult if you lack the water of the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, bring me along into the depth of your of your operations. Carry me into the depth of your operations. I am thirsty. I am hungry. Help me to draw from the well. Help me to draw from the well. The woman told Jesus, ignorantly, you have come with nothing to draw from the well. You have come. Don't, don't, don't let that statement be your portion tonight. Don't let it be your experience that you have come with nothing to draw from the well. Because the well is deep. Holy Spirit is deep. The well is deep. You have to come with something. You have to come with your thirst. You have to come with your hunger. You have to come with your faith to effectively draw from the well. If you have come with those three things tonight, cry and say, Father, launch me into the deep, into the well of the Spirit. Shakaba Sotaya, launch me to the deep. Launch me to the deep, Lord. Launch me, Lord. Take me on a journey to the deep that I may access everything that I need for life and for godliness. That I may access everything that I need for life, for godliness. In the name of Jesus, launch me to the deep, Lord. Shataba kapra sataya, rapos kapra sata, for we have this treasure. For we have this treasure in the earthen vessel that the excellency of the power might be of God. That the excellency of the power might be of God. You can't discover that treasure by your power. You need the help of the Holy Spirit to discover the treasure that is in you. 
the treasure of God in you, you need the help of the Holy Spirit to discover it. Shapantaya, Holy Spirit, help me. Launch me to the deep to discover the divine treasure in me. The heavenly deposit in me. The heavenly deposit in me. The divine treasure in me. Holy Spirit of God, bring me into the deep. Into the deep of the living water to discover the treasure of God in my life. To discover the treasure of God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me tell you, for those who are still young, you have advantage tonight. Those who are still young, you are not yet 18, you are not yet 20. This meeting is for you, mostly. You know why? God called Moses at 80. And Moses was so effective in the assignment, even though he didn't get to the promised land. But he was effective, he brought out the people out of slavery. What am I saying? If you can discover your treasure, the treasure of God in your life at any age, then you you, you will be a high flyer. Does it make sense to you? What gain is it for a man that discovers his treasure at 80? The days of Moses are gone. How many years do you have to spend? Even if you have the years to spend, where is the energy? Jesus said, I will do the work of him that sent me while it is day. Because the night will come when no man can walk. So those of you who are young, pray this like you have never heard of any prayer again in your life. So that you can discover the treasure of God early in life to be effective for destiny. To be relevant in your generation. Are you with me? And God is saying to me that you will remember this meeting in many years to come. Many years to come, you can reference that one night like this, I prayed a prayer that helped me to discover who I am and what God has created me to fulfill. I can remember a prayer meeting I attended as a youth copper in a, in a state called Cross River in Nigeria, Calabar. That night, everything that was spoken all of them have come to pass in my life and the preacher said the same thing that somebody here tonight will remember this meeting for his entire life and God has said the same thing to me tonight that somebody here you remember this meeting as a turning point as a platform for discovery we are praying that prayer one more time Everything we need for life and godliness has been given to us. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. But we can only discover those things through the help of the Holy Spirit. According to Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12. And you cannot discover the best of the Spirit of God scratching the surface. You have to operate at the deep. Father, launch me to the deep one more time. Immerse me in the deep. In the deep of your spirit. Lord, immerse me. Immerse me into the depth of the spirit of God. Lord, immerse me into the depth of your spirit. Immerse me into the depth of your spirit. Bring me out of the seashore, Lord, and immerse me into the depth of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shalibra Kasotaya, Baseta Hima Kazontaya, Rekebo Sotoshitaya, Malika Satayaba Kasontoye, Mazita Hiba Kasandaya, Maseta Hiba, First Corinthian, not Second Corinthian, First Corinthian. Lord, immerse me into the deep. Into the deep of the spirit. Take me away from the seashore. Take me away from the seashore. And immerse me into the deep of the spirit. Let me have an understanding 
of how the Holy Spirit is navigating in my life of what the direction is leading me for we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might know the things that have been freely given to us thank you father blessed be your name in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray this next prayer is important you want to go on a journey of with the spirit of God into the deep you need three things you need your eyes you need your ear to go with you and you need your heart you need what your eyes to see the revelation you need your ears to begin to hear to be able to hear the mystery that the revelation will bring and you need your heart to believe that is why it is not a mistake that that first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 started with saying eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has he entered to the heart of man what God has reserved for those who love him so your prayer this time is that Holy Spirit flood my eyes flood my ears flood my heart in the name of Jesus with the living water flood my eyes to see to see differently to see the invisible flood my ears to hear the inaudible flood my heart to receive to receive to believe the unbelievable with the living water flood me Holy Spirit flood me Holy Spirit flood me completely flood my eyes to see with the living water flood my eyes flood my eyes with the living water Holy Spirit flood my eyes to see the invisible to see opportunity where people are seeing challenges to see where you are calling me into to see the gift of God in my life to see the treasure of heaven in my life Holy Spirit flood my eyes to see with the living water flood my eyes flood my ears living with living with the living water flood my ears flood my ears to hear the inaudible to hear to hear from you to hear instruction to hear direction to hear your leading to hear your prompting flood my ears with the living water shall live a castle that you flood me completely with the the living water flood me flood my heart to believe flood my heart to believe to believe the unbelievable to believe the unbelievable flood me completely Holy Spirit flood me flood my eyes flood my ears flood my heart flood my eyes flood my ears flood my heart flood my heart flood my mind in the mighty name of Jesus let the living water flood my eyes let the living water flood my ears let the living water flood my heart let the living water flood my mouth to speak of your goodness to speak of your glory to testify to your faithfulness flood me with the living water in the name of Jesus Sataba kabra kasotaya, ma sekeli ba sataya, ma kabra kasota, ma shetehi ba kasota ya, wa papa kasataya, wa proko kosetehi ma, sete kesita, ma kabra sata, ma like boso toiba, wa papa kasata, ma ke proko soto shinda ya, wa boko kosete, wa kasata ya. Holy Spirit, flood me with the living water. Flood me with the living water. Flood my eyes to see the invisible. Flood my eyes to see opportunity. Flood my eyes to see mystery. Flood my eyes to see the plans of God. To see the purpose of God for my life. To see the treasure of God in my life. Flood my eyes, flood my ears to hear, to hear the inaudible. Satama Kashenda, flood my ears to hear. 
flood my ears to hear flood my heart to receive to receive to receive to believe flood my heart shata baka sotaya rekebos kapra sotaya flood my mouth to speak flood my mouth to speak of your goodness of your faithfulness oh shata kaba sotaya flood my mouth to declare your wonders to the world Lord my mouth go thank you father bless up your name rain on in jesus name we pray Amen. let's get the communion at this point let's please serve the communion so we can come for it and let's serve it as the communion is being served the significance of the communion tonight One of the provisions of God for the Israelites when they were going out of Egypt to the promised land a time came when God provided them with water and it was documented in the scripture so the same way the the journey of life sometimes can appear tough and difficult as such instance we need the water of life to sustain us when the journey gets dark when the journey gets hot when the journey gets difficult we need refreshment through the water that the spirit of god can provide for us and it was the death of jesus that ushered in the spirit of god Jesus said to his disciples that it was important for him to go that when he goes he will send the holy spirit to comfort us so we're going to take the communion tonight and when we take the communion your prayer point will be that the spirit of god will sustain you in the journey of life that you will not become weak you will not become tired you will not lose strength in the name of Jesus and so it shall be for i received from the lord that which i also delivered to you now the lord jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed he took the bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me in the name of god the father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So we'll take the wine after this. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper saying, "This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me." In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit sustain me in the journey of life. The living water refresh me in the journey of life. That I would not be weak, I would not be tired. And I will not lose strength. I will not lose vigor. My strength will not diminish. My strength will not disappear. Living water refresh me. Living water sustain me in the journey of life. Help me that I will not lose my strength. Help me, Lord, to keep going. Help me to work stronger. 
in the mighty name of Jesus help me to work stronger help me to keep going help me to keep moving in the name of Jesus Shataba Kasontaya Raposataya Holy Spirit of God I need your help tonight I need your help help me in this journey of life that I will not be tired that I will not be weary that I will not lose my strength I will not lose my vigor in the mighty name of Jesus help me oh Lord living water refresh me refresh me refresh me in the name of Jesus refresh me ask the Lord to help you that you will not lose your strength that you will not lose your strength that you will not lose your power that you will not diminish in capacity that you will not be weary in the journey that when it gets tough the strength of God will come to you the Bible says concerning Jesus when he was about to go to the cross the Bible said that he became weary but the spirit came to minister to him pray that the Holy Spirit of God will minister to you at every junction of your life at every situation of your life the spirit of God will minister to you that you will not lose your strength you will not be depressed you will not lose your faith you will not lose your trust in the law that you will not backslide you will not turn back you will not abandon the faith you will not come out of the faith you will not run out of the faith and the spirit of God will minister to you it will refresh you it will sustain you in the name of Jesus it will energize you so it is and it shall be in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Father Lord we pray tonight that the dimension of the depth of the living water that you have brought us into individually and as a church we will not lose it in Jesus name Amen. now we will not be dry in the name of Jesus that tonight will be a memorial for us Amen. for good in Jesus name Amen. that Lord a time will come in our life that we will see how much you have helped us Amen. in growth in you in work with you in exploit for you and we will be able to reference tonight thank you because it is done in Jesus name we pray this is the Liberty Assembly, raising a glorious generation.